Unlock the secret. Collocations versus idiomatic expressions. Hello, dear English learners. Today, we're going to explore an exciting aspect of the English language. This is something that can really help you sound more natural in English. We're talking about collocations and idiomatic expressions. They're both unique features of English, and sometimes, they might seem quite similar. So, our main focus for this video is to understand what exactly sets them apart. Let's dive in. To put it simply, collocations are words that often go together. They just sound right to native English speakers. Collocations can involve verb plus noun, like do homework, adjective plus noun, severe weather, or adverb plus adjective, deeply sorry, to name just a few combinations. Now, the interesting part is that these word pairings can't be deduced from the meanings of the individual words, but rather they must be learned and used as a whole. This is where collocations start to resemble idiomatic expressions. Idiomatic expressions, on the other hand, are fixed groups of words with a specific meaning that isn't necessarily predictable from the words themselves. For example, when we say, kick the bucket, we're not literally talking about kicking a bucket. We're referring to the concept of dying. There are countless idiomatic expressions in English, and they can really spice up your language skills when used appropriately. Now, here comes the crucial part. What's the primary difference between collocations and idiomatic expressions? While they may seem similar as both involve groups of words used together, the key difference lies in the predictability of their meanings. With collocations, the meaning is generally apparent from the words themselves. When we say, brush teeth, it's pretty clear that we're talking about the act of cleaning one's teeth. However, idiomatic expressions are a different story. Their meanings are often not directly related to the actual words used, making them more metaphorical or symbolic in nature. If someone says they're going to hit the books, they don't plan on physically striking any books. Instead, they mean they're going to study hard. And there you have it. We hope this discussion clarifies the differences between collocations and idiomatic expressions for you. Remember, mastering both can greatly enhance your English fluency and comprehension. So, don't shy away from using them when you communicate in English. That's all for today's video. Keep practicing keep learning, and we'll see you in the next one.